This is the one. Really good. Is that, is that the practice we're not doing exchanges here at the airport? I was at the Department of Law Enforcement there the Department of I'd rather be up in the front. <laughs> Man in the gray suit. Dave, Dave. Not you. Man in the gray suit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hi now. Thank you. Guard and order! Cortez the doctor on! Target! Are you? Thank you. 
Hey guys. Yeah. Please, we can't see a thing. can't see a thing. Please. Eamon, shut up and just take what you can. Come on, I told you. Two way. Oh, this is terrible. Mr. President, are you willing to meet with Ortega? They have come to bid you welcome. Mr. President, I wrote and invited you to visit us in Galway. This being a highly significant year in the history of our city. We are celebrating our quincentennial, the 500th anniversary of the granting of our city's chapter of incorporation. For this, our 500th birthday, we have invited all who have Galway connections or who bear any of the names of the founding families of Galway to visit us. There are many thousands of such families now settled in your great nation in 1776. The Lynch family dominated the Galway mayoralty since its inception. Happy people, our warmest greetings. President, you may recall from my letter of invitation to you that I mentioned the connection between Columbus and Galway. There had always been a continent. This church, which was built in 1320, still functions as a parish church and is a living monument to the past. In recent times, we Galway during its quincentennial year in 1984. President, I hope that you and Mrs. Reagan will have a pleasant and a relaxed stay in Ireland. County Council and the people of County Galway extend to you, Mr. President, a sincere and warm welcome to our county. 
Your visit to Ireland is a source of great joy to land, adds a dimension of pride and pleasure, which makes this a very special occasion. All the people of County Galway take special pride in this, the quincentennial year of Galway City. Your visit to the Quay Academy. Ego autoritate in me concessa admito te agradum doctoratus in your troque iure. Higgin, on Corlor Patrick McConamara, on Corlor Tomas de Brun, on Corlor Maureen Ebrin. From Munfrey, Rodamanora, Serana, Cahar Nagalita, Er, Ronald Reagan, Uktaran, the South Antia. Rodder, Serana, Nakakrup, August Gorthogok, and Tastis, Sersha, Shot, Go. your distinguished president of University College Galway, students from distant lands and known for centuries as the island of saints and scholars, stamp their populations into conformity and submission. Our ancestors enjoyed heated exchanges of ideas as far back as in the court of good King Brian Boru. It's part of our blood. That's what I keep telling myself every time I try to iron out my differences with the speaker. But he's a great son of Ireland and America as well. And I can say that knowing that we have heartfelt, is this freedom to disagree, to question, to state one's case even when in opposition to those in authority, that is the cornerstone of liberty and human. We're of Irish ancestry. Four were born in Ireland. 20 generals in our revolutionary army were of Irish ancestry. Generals Montgomery, Sullivan, Wayne, and others were in the thick of the battle, fire to the American Revolution, a fire that ignited a flame of liberty as had never before been seen. This was not a result of uncontrollable historical forces. It's for celebrating its 500th anniversary. Permit me to con congratulate all of your citizens on this august occasion. This esteemed university is only one part of the... Considering the degree you've just... We hope that that rule is no longer in effect. <laughs> it's to be expected in all human endeavors, mistakes were made. Yet overall, I believe that we have an admirable record. There's something very important I want you to know, and then I will hasten on. The American people still hope...